Alrighty, so the broken silver is back from the fabrication shop. Not everything got done that was supposed to, but I have to start working on this car to get it done by the deadline I'm hoping to get it done by. So the plan for tonight, boom, just take everything out of it, take everything outside the engine bay, start grinding, shaving, welding. With so much effort being put into the actual body of the car, taking doors off, pulling windows out and stuff to paint it properly, it'd be a shame to put a new engine in a dirty engine bay. So instead of just colour matching it, I'm going to go through a little bit more effort and try shave it. I've never done it before, so this will be my first time doing it. So tag along and see how it all turns out.
As mentioned in the previous episode, we have begun shaving the engine bay. So nothing too crazy, minor engine bay shave, plug some of the holes up that won't be getting used. So far, most of the holes have been welded up by myself for the first time ever. And my neighbor Pip, who was a panel beater who actually fixed this car when it got into a crash, he came out and ground down all the welds because I don't have the patience to do it. So right now we're gonna mix up a bit of body filler, sand around the areas that need to get refined, put a big bit of bog over it, sand it. So we'll show you the process right now. I love the smell of this stuff. I'm sure you get sick of it using it every day. So this will just be a quick update of what I've done so far in the engine bay. So all the holes got plugged up, they got ground down, then body filler I've put over every section that was, that was welded up. After that, I sanded that body filler with 80 grit, 120 grit and 180 grit. Now all those surfaces are now prepared for the epoxy primer and epoxy primer does usually go on bare metal I'm pretty sure. 
but I like using it because it's really, really thick and it allows me to get an even nicer shape before I go over it with a high fill primer. Now, I've gone over with the wire wheel on the drill, removed all the um, seam seal around the strut towers and the chassis rails. So the job now is to go over it with some 320 grit sandpaper on a whizzer and scuff up the whole engine bay, reapply the new seam sealer and epoxy those sections that got that got sanded wherever the body filler was on. So yeah, we'll do that right now. Okay, so that will be the end for this episode. I've already started editing this video and everything seems so easy and so fun to do. This was a very, very time consuming process. Not necessarily expensive to do, but there was a lot of labor involved. So I had my friend Mickey and my neighbor Pep who's a panel beater. Both of them came out and they smashed out a lot of the work. So a lot of the cutting, grinding and welding, they did. I did most of the body filler, the primering, the sanding and stuff like that. 
Would I ever do this project again, something like this? Probably not. I would rather just pay someone to plug the holes up, grind them down, and then I don't mind doing the body filler and the primary. But yeah, cutting, grinding, and welding is really not for everybody. Um, so in the next episode, we might even see a bit of color in the engine bay. Of course, it will be red, same as the rest of the car. And also, tomorrow we're going to have to get this car somehow off the lift onto a forklift and we're gonna prepare the underside to get um, the black underbody protection. So that is what you will be looking forward to in the next episode. Today is the 26th of December. I would, I would really like for this car to be back together within a month and sent off for wiring and tuning. So that is the plan.